Hiya, I'm George from Smallwood Bees. Now, um, I've been having work done in the house and some of it has been like fixing mistakes which have been before. And one of it is basically a load, a load of timber had been done wrong. Uh, some of it's old, some of it I think was aesthetic. I don't know, long story short, I've got a load of timber now, which is great. Um, and obviously a lot of people, you know, like some people might have burnt it. Um, but I mean, I'm pretty sure it's got treatment and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm doing is making bug houses. So I always love making bug houses. I think they're really interesting. So obviously they're good for wildlife, but what's even more so, they look, well, they're good for wildlife, but they also look really smart on the wall. Now, I don't know if you remember, I started doing that wall before. This video should all be linked together, uh, possibly. Now, initially, I remember if I talked about I was gonna do hexagons, and that was, uh, I like that idea, you know, we've got, we like bees and things like that. However, I had the idea, you know, like a, a child's toy um, where they put shapes in. So, um, and the connection is that we have uh, we have an offspring on the way, which is very nice, very exciting, very terrifying. Um, but I saw this children's toy thing where they put like a triangle in, square in, all that sort of stuff. And I thought, actually, that's a really good idea. So what I'm doing is a shape wall. So we're gonna have, I've done the wires as you've seen already. I'm gonna have them for like the trellis. That's great, plants growing up. And then instead of just having hexagons, I'm doing all different shapes. So I'll show you them at the end. But um, today I'm gonna to make an octagon and this is gonna be kind of like the, the big one. Um, I thought about, well, it's of choice really, but the symmetrical shapes are much easier, partly for the angles. It has really, really tested me on angles. So uh, let's take a right angle triangle. Okay, no problem, 90 degrees. Okay, we're fine with that. 45 degree angle, boom. And then you can work out the other angles, but then trying to work out how to cut, how to cut, and it's proved extremely testing of my uh, my mass knowledge. And shape names, like, you know what a rhombus is? I was like, I know what a rhombus is. And then I couldn't think what a rhombus was. So yes, it's been really good for me doing it anyway. It's been quite fun. It's really good use of the wood. So um, anyway, without further today, to do, without further to do, we're gonna now make an octagon. So, the way to work out the angle for a symmetrical one is pretty easy. There might be a better calculation, but basically it's 360 divided by how many corners, so could maybe work it out, but easier to, um, you know, use a calculator. So let's see. So 360 divided by eight equals, so it's 45, and then you divide that by two, that equals 22.5. So my calculations are that we need to cut every cut at 22.5. So we'll cut them either side like that, and then if they're all the same size, they should, in theory, all fit together. So, first things first, I'm gonna sand this, get this ready, and then we'll, we'll, we'll crack on with some more. So, what did I say? I think I said 22.5. So, I'll show you the setup. Let's have a look. So, 22.5. So, I set it there. I'm gonna have to use, this wood's a bit warped and stuff, so I'm holding it in place, and basically, that's our cut. So, it's, about well it's slightly more that piece of wood's about 300 odd just under four meters so what i'm doing is doing a 360 as though it was 360 so that gives me a bit of cushion so i need four pieces of wood from that it's very important that we get the cuts like that so obviously one will be cut there and the next one will be cut like that so we'll lose a bit there so allowed for that. I think it'll be fine. So 360 divided by four. Hopefully this will work. The main thing is that we get them all the same size. So what is that? 360 divided by four is 90. So oh, it's going to be a big one. So 90. You know what? Let's give it a go. I wanted to do an octagon. I like, you know, octagon's cool because obviously, you know, you think of octopus, all that sort of stuff. Oct means eight. Um, that's my logic. And it's easier doing it. I like this. It's good to do a few different ones. We've already done a hexagon and a pentagon. I'll show you them in a minute. Um, so, eight and 90 centimeters. That's the plan. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's get some. So. I'm sometimes a bit naughty and I don't put stuff on. 
but I really would recommend so dust mask, ear defenders, full shebang. Two point five. Let's see what happens. I'm committed now. We're doing it. One done, seven to go. I'll be a bit big. You know what, we can always make it smaller. So, eight done. I measured the first one and then all I did was use the first one to measure all the rest and it just means that uh, after the first one it doesn't really matter uh, as long as they're all the same it's fine whereas obviously if I measure every time that's every time I can make a human error which does happen quite a few times um, so I've got four pieces got another piece of wood four, uh, I did stand one side really nice uh, and I thought oh that's great I'll use that side but actually by just flipping it over it just made it stacks easier, so I'm going to do that. Um, I can always sand it up. You know what? It doesn't matter. Eventually, it's all going to be around the outside, covered by plants. So you won't even see the outside, so it doesn't matter. It's absolutely fine. Okay. I wanted to make a really big bug out, but I'm making it, and it's going to be huge. So, reluctantly, I'm going to, I'm going to make it smaller. Now, we're doing it 90 centimeters. It's too big. It's too big. So, what do you reckon? Seventy? Six. Maybe seventy or sixty. I'll have a think. Now we're gonna dismantle it, which is always annoying. 